Good afternoon. Uh, today is day 236. And if you have not already noticed, I have a variety of foods in front of me. Uh, these are Jewish delicatessen foods. And as I am aware, my, let's say, standing with the Jewish community of New York hasn't been at its best as of late. So, to extend an olive branch, if you will, meaning to maybe mend some of my broken ties with the community, I thought I would do a Jewish delicatessen mukbang. One of the members of my staff, uh, Jason Fisher. Jason, hello? Hi. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Hi, he's going to be helping me to identify some of the cultural foods here because I myself am not familiar with them. I did grow up around a lot of Jewish people. I actually had a, a Jewish friend growing up. We were the very best of friends. Hello, Asher, if you're watching right now, I hope you and the family are doing very well. My love and my regards. But I, it's been a long time since I've been at a Jewish delicatessen, so the names of some of these foods evade me right now, meaning that they are not presently part of my vernacular or common knowledge. So Jason, who's, Jason, your father is Jewish, correct? Uh, that's right. Yes, he, he's very familiar with these foods and he'll help me to identify them. So listen, uh, I'm very hungry. When you're governor, you do a lot, okay? And I haven't eaten since yesterday afternoon, meaning right now food is all I can think about and it's very difficult to have this in front of me without without consuming any of it. So uh, why don't we uh, start? I'm going to go ahead and I, I wanna protect my tie because sometimes uh, when you eat food very rapidly as I uh, might right now because I'm very hungry, it, it, it may get on your suit and your tie and you don't want that. That is something you do not want. All right, let's dig in. Uh, Jason, again, Kasha Varnishkis, right? Kasha uh, Varnish. So this is, this is what it looks like. Okay, great. Jason, I'm detecting um, an onion. Yes, there, there, there is seasonings in the kasha varnish. Otherwise, it's too, too bland. So, uh, right. upon the, <clears throat> the style of the cook, uh, you'll find a little lighter or, or a little sharper taste to it. It's, it's really very wonderful and lovely. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Did your mother cook this growing up? Uh, yes, it was a very popular, uh, a very popular dish, uh, particularly on the Sabbath. Oh right, of course. Uh, the Sabbath, of course. Uh, for the, I, I am familiar with the, the Sabbath is the day when the Jews do nothing. Listen, Jason, this is so no delicious. Time. I'm no only time, going, no like I said, only going to have a few bites of each kind of thing to be able to share with my staff. So. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to cleanse my palate with some of this Dr. Brown's black cherry diet soda. And those of you who say diet soda, why governor, why are you drinking diet soda when you are clearly not on a diet? Huh? The last thing I need is more calories, right? If we have a choice between no calories and a certain number of calories, we will go with no, right? No is the right answer. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Next, why don't we get a bite into this hot dog? It looks absolutely delicious. We're all familiar with this. Tourists that come to New York, oftentimes they, they have this in mind as, 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 as a go-to, as a thing that they want to do before they leave. Hebrew National, right, is the brand? Hebrew National is, is the most famous of the brands, the, most, the one that's known and you can find in supermarkets as well. And the delicatessen from which you picked this, well, this wonderful spread up? This spread is the comes from the last remaining uh, kosher delicatessen in, 
in, in all the Bronx. It comes from Liebman's Kosher Delicatessen, which has been around for well over 60 years. Liebman's curbside service is available, right? It is available. It is? Yes, good. It is. Very good. And of course, they follow all of the social distance guidelines and the uh, masks. CDC, yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. A great delicatessen. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, okay. Let's go to the uh, the uh, the noodle kugel. 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 I'm, uh, I am terribly sorry to the Jewish community for mispronouncing anything that is seen here today. It was not done on purpose, meaning it was not done with intent to harm or disparage. It is simply a, an ignorance, right? Because we're not uh, all familiar with one another's vernacular, but we're learning, and that's the point. Wonderful. Okay, so <laughs> let's, get, let's get in there. Delicious raisins are, you, are typically found in-, in It's good food. to have a little fruit, huh? Delicious raisins are normally found in the kugel. There is <coughs> quite a wonderful consistency. It reminds me of calamari or uh, or some or or something from the sea. So uh, next, I think why don't we why don't we go for one of these sandwiches again? A New York staple, right? And we, as very proud, tough New Yorkers, we we. Uh, <clears throat> We love staples. They, they, are, uh, they are what identify us as New Yorkers. And um, pastrami on rye right. is one of those foods that identifies us. You can note, note the consistency. It, it's it's uh, sliced on a slicer. Most, most kosher delicatessens have slicers like this. Katz's, which, which is strictly not kosher, and housed in his hand cloth. And Thank you, Jason. It's a darker meat. Thank you. Yes, it's, uh, Slightly it looks right. Mm. It's exceptional. I think we can save that. We'll save that uh, for after we're done filming to enjoy with everyone. I want us to all be able to share and have a chance to all <clears throat> enjoy uh, that sandwich. So we're gonna leave that there for now. It was excellent. <clears throat> okay, this is another New York delicacy that we all may recognize. This Are you gonna try the corn? Oh, there's uh, there are different varieties. That's like yeah. I. They're both pickled. They're both pickled meats and brine. Pickled meats. Yes, I I. Brine. I can't wait. Okay. Uh, You'll notice a difference in taste in the corned beef. L'chaim, right? So this is this is going to be similar in its level of sodium content as well. Uh, perhaps slightly. slightly okay. Less than the okay. But full of salt, never. Okay, I can't, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I love it. <clears throat> um, Jason. <clears throat> that is also fantastic. And I think we should, again, let others try it as well. So... I'm going to uh, move on now. <coughs> okay, moving right along. Okay, so now let's uh, let's move on to the uh, the uh, another famous New York City. A delicacy that we often see in the movies, right? And that other people from other parts of the United States, there are 49 other states, 47 of which are attached to the continental and uh, two that are apart, right? Non-continental. People from out of state, they, they see this and they recognize it as New York, right? So I thought it would be great, a good idea, a fun, even fun, even to 
Try this. So you're holding a square. Knish. A square or a gabilla. Which case. has no meat in it, it's right, Jason? Meat. There's no, no meat. Wonderful. There are meats that are offered in certain uh, delis in conditions. That one doesn't. Again, very delicious. I would highly recommend it. All right, a couple of more items to try before we let the staff enjoy some of this delicacy. Uh, this again, this is the other style of knish, is it there not? Ah, uh, yes, there is a, a, a mashed potato appearance uh, inside, meaning it looks like mashed potatoes, with a flaky crust on the outside. This should be familiar to, um, to non-Jewish people. Uh, it's a pastry of sorts. And uh, I know because I've seen, uh, I've not not seen, right, that this is often dipped in the mustard. Tom. I love it. It's just great. So Matilda didn't make you any of these when you were growing up, but your your brothers, your brother, and your sister. No, as a matter of fact, my mother. Um, she made Italian food because my culture is Italian and we, um, we have different style of, of food, uh, than this, but again, there is value to all cultures. Um, the last thing that we'll be trying, right, is a, uh, gefilte pudding fish. That's the two pieces of white c cylinders in the front. Jason, what kind of fish is that? Uh, it's, a, it's a composition of, of, uh, of white fish and yellow pike. And that goes with the red horseradish sauce. Right. I'm starting to learn. You see, as you become more familiar with a culture and its vernacular and its concepts, you become fluent in the language of that culture, which is appreciated by those people because when they hear it, they, they feel as though you are respecting them, thinking about them, taking the time to learn about them. So thank you again, Jason. Okay, all right, very good. So we will, and that sound, it's supposed to make that sound when you bite, when you break into it, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Putting it in some of the red sauce. And just want to try a little because, again, oh, it's spicy. So now I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to try it. Fresh. Fresh. So now I'm going to, um, to, to try it for the, for the first time ever. So, uh, bon appetit, right? That's great, Jason. I really do enjoy that. That was very enjoyable. And the reason that Jewish delicacy is so synonymous with New York delicacy is because the Jewish people who I happen to love and adore and appreciate uh, are very much a part of the city of New York, right? The city of New York wouldn't have its character, its texture without the Jewish people. So we all appreciate the Jewish people. We all value what they have done for our city. And we do not feel in any way negatively towards them at all. Otherwise, I wouldn't have eaten any of this food. I, uh, I, I which of all of which I enjoyed very much. And I want to thank Jason and my staff and Barb and everyone here, all of my staff, uh, all of you will, again, please come and feel free to, to nosh, if you will, on anything you like. And um, we'll clear this up and begin the coronavirus news conference, day 236. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot to discuss. There are a lot of things to assess and summarize. And I, again, appreciate everyone here that has made this happen. So let's clean this up and get to work. Oh, God damn it. 
Oh, no wonder they're so miserable. Oh my God, who could eat salt? Oh my God. Oh. This is what they eat. There's no flavoring to any of this. I can't even just, it's unbelievable. When you ordered all this crap, you didn't tell them this was for me, right? No. Andrew Cuomo? No. Okay. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, shit. I think I'm gonna go throw up before I start the conference. I can't, I can't believe they eat this all the time. This is just absolutely, my stomach feels violated. I, I feel upset. Oh my God, these people. Just, they, they need real food. Maybe that's their problem. Maybe that's part of their problem. Well, I can't even look at it anymore. Uh, Governor, are you aware that the, the, the cameras are still on? The, it's live mic. The, the conference isn't over for approximately two minutes. We're, all, we're live? Yeah, we had the, uh, we had the, the, the balance of the... We've been live? We've been live? We're live. Oh, Hi! Gosh. Hello, New York! <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> your governor here, just enjoying the... Uh, some seltzer, as Jason suggested, to, to help me digest this wonderful meal that I've just had. This has uh, been really, again, a really wonderful and, and a great way to, to extend my reach into the Jewish community so that they know that I feel very strongly and passionately about, uh, about them and their culture and how wonderful and lovely this all is. Diversity is a wonderful thing and we should all try it and make friends with people uh, of all different color shapes and, and forms. Uh, uh, Jason! Jason!